y'all and welcome to our gray house vlogs i am your host with the most hostess with the mostest lisa actually i'm just getting ready for work and again i'm going with the wet hair i need to put some like conditioning treatment oil or whatever in there but yesterday i bought kendra scott earrings for my birthday and I bought them in gold and silver, but I'm wearing the silver today. Again, haven't worn the gold yet. Not sure when I'll do that. I also need to put on some mascara and some um, lipstick, because I like to wear lipstick. You know, um, lipstick wears off, right? And But I don't really like that kind, the um, nothing against you gals that sell it, but that the Gen Sense or Sense, whatever gen sense the one that that stays on and everybody like takes like a glass and they're like see it didn't come off or whatever you know what i'm talking about anyway i just don't like that but truthfully i've never tried it so really can't say i don't like it but today i'm going to be wearing in a surprise turn of events brick mac lip liner no surprise mm -hmm. Mac, if you're watching and I'm doing it wrong, feel free to reach out and tell me. Also, I'm going to be adding, um, I also use NARS um, Cruella by NARS. And um, I recently got uh, Russian Red. Russian Red by Mac. Which is definitely a redder red. But that's okay. I also need mascara on and maybe a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm crouching down because I don't have like a high enough stand for this. So let's put on some, let's put on some eyeliner. I really do want to get my, uh, I'm trying to like stick close to the lash line on here. And as you guys know, if you've been around the channel for a hot minute, I, my eyes water so much. They're watering again now. I don't know, like maybe I'm allergic to makeup or something. It could be that. I don't know. If I try to stick close to the lash line as possible, doing little strokes of crop. Oh, and the uh, bedding's done. Sometimes I curl my eyelashes, and most days I do not. I used to curl them like every day. Didn't really wear makeup as a teenager. I'm mean, gonna wear some, but probably not as much as I wear now. I don't think I wear that much, but. So what I do is I put on just this much mascara. Let me move that out of the way. This much mascara. Can you see, am I focused? I guess so. And then in a little bit, um, no set time, I add another coat of mascara. And then a little bit later, I add another coat of mascara. Kind of let it like dry, if you will. But also, um, I have this like skin tag right here. And I think, I mean, I know you can get them removed. But um, yeah, I might, I don't know. Sometimes it bothers me, just like cosmetically bothers me. And then other times I just don't even care. But when I first got it, when it first came out, like Marvin was like, oh, you've got something by your eye. And I'm like, no, that's just a skin tag thing. And I think they're like, I don't know how painful or what would happen if I, if I had it removed, I don't know. But if you know, you can let me know. So anyway, I need to go take Marvin his salad. He forgot to take his salad to work today. And so I'm gonna go take that to him and I'm gonna go stop by PetSmart and I, uh, I'm looking around because my cat doesn't feel good. I, I, normally he's in here. Normally he wants to go inside the shower with me. Didn't even come in the shower today. He didn't want to go into the closet. So I don't think he feels well. Not really sure. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Because if my buffs doesn't feel good, I hope he's okay. Anyway, let's go to work. Actually, actually, let's not go to work. Let's go to PetSmart and drop Marvin's salad off to him first. Then we'll go to work. But we need to do today's outfit of the day, don't we? Aren't you curious what I'm wearing? So today I'm wearing 
a fearless shirt it says fearless and I have a front tuck I do have my jeans that I cut off myself and my cheetah print shoes I used to not not be a cheetah print person I was just like okay whatever um, but I've changed I it's a it's a great print I like it a lot adds a little pop of fun but I'm still not a glitter fan I know lots of girls like all the glitter and I'm like you can have my share too because I don't really care for glitter heading into that's smart and picking up dry cat food and wet cat food and probably cat treats <sighs> they don't need cat treats but <laughs> I want to get them cat treats I'm sorry so they've moved stuff around now I can't find the cat food I just don't like that they stuff around. I'm a creature of habit. I like everything in the same place it was before. But now I can't find the cat food. It's not in the same aisle. Hmm. Lord, give me strength. I found it. Crisis averted. Captain didn't really like this chicken flavor. So I'm going to get the salmon and ocean like I always do. And the ocean white fish. White fish. So I'm gonna get those two. He may like chicken, but he just doesn't seem like he's ever really liked it before. Maybe it's cheaper. Are they changing stuff on me? So seriously, they don't have a super big variety of stuff for kittens. And for cats in general, I mean like the whole store is like dog. Here's a little tiny cat stuff, but I guess because they only, I mean, they're kittens for a year, and you're supposed to give them kitten food for a year, so. And Captain's just gonna get kitten food a little bit longer, because that's, that's what, because Socks and him are not gonna like, oh, this is your plate, this is your, you're not, it's not how it's gonna work in my house, so. I'm gonna get these two things, and I get a whole container of them. And they used to do like, where if you bought more than whatever you get a discount, but I don't see that little sticker anymore, so maybe that changed too. Okay, shopping is done. I got three bags of cat food, and I got some wet cat food. So I feed my cats both. I feed the, um, I'm trying to remember where I parked. Um, I feed the, let them have kibble all the time. Just dry feed out all the time and free feed. I know some people are against that, but I'm not. I let them free feed. And um, I tried to buy, I don't know if I showed you on, on the vlog or not, but I tried to buy this thing, like this cat, like it was like this round shaped thing that I thought the, um, my cart was going away from me, that I thought the, sorry. You have to have your, your keys so close to the car for it to open. Anyway, I went to go buy this basket that they could like sleep in and stuff and I was like oh there's no price on it so I go take it up to the front counter and I'm like hey how much is this and he goes oh it's been recalled I was like oh so I can't buy it um so yeah that's what that meant I couldn't buy it I was like dang I saw them like, please don't say it's a billion dollars because that would be my luck. It'd be like something I think is cute or fun for the cats and it's like a billion dollars. But um, I like the idea of the basket, but I think my concern with it, and maybe I don't know why it was recalled, but I'm like, did my cats try to eat it? You know, like chew on it and stuff. And so, um, yeah, that would be no good because they, the little one especially does chew on stuff. It's like chewing on, yeah, he chews on stuff. So, anyway, I didn't get that. I think I might stop at Bed Bath & Beyond for no reason. <laughs> no, I just need to go to work and plan out the areas because what I've decided to do is like put my house in like segments, like sections, and say to myself, hang on, let's get in the car. Put my house, whoa, come on. 
put my house in sections. Like, for example, the front porch, um, the back porch, over where I have that one just side table because it's got a big blank wall above it. Do I want a gallery wall there? Do I want one big picture? Do I want what? Over the fireplace is one section. So that way I can concentrate on trying to find pieces and kind of sketch out how, oh, the little dog was yapping. I thought, what is that noise? So kind of map out like, I want this to, I want it to look like this. And then here's the stuff I need to buy that I don't already have. And so when I'm out and about, I have a list of stuff that I can buy. So, oh, I saw that on clearance. Or, oh, this is on super sale. Or, oh, whatever. And then that way, I can start piecing together it faster. Because right now, I just like, I don't know what I want to put over there. I don't know. I need to, like, sketch it out so I have a plan. And then, yeah. So, I have a plan. That's what I think I'm going to do because right now I just feel like the house is just not done. And part of it is because some of the stuff is in storage and yeah, that's part of the reason, but part of the reason is because it's just not done because the, the decor that I used in the old house, most of it could go into this new house, but I don't know if I want it to go in the new house. So I just need to kind of figure out how I want it to look. Maybe I need to get like a professional, professional, a professional to help me with it. Or maybe just someone who's like really good at decor and saying, hey, how should I style this? Because I want like clean but kind and kind of minimal, but I also want artsy and eclectic. And I'm not really sure how to combine the two because I do like farmhouse style, but not like overly chippy, type farmhouse stuff. I don't like, I like farmhouse, just some of the stuff. I don't like distressed furniture necessarily. I mean, I do, but not really in my home, you know, like I like, oh, that's pretty for you, but I don't necessarily want it in my home. And I'm not really like boho, mid-century modern either, although I like that as well. But, um, I just think that, uh, some of the looks are not really me. Hold on. People are next to me. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Also, I had met this lady that um, has interns at uh, like the school. They like they can provide interns, either paid or unpaid. And so maybe I could get one of those kiddos to help me with my stuff. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to the office now. Probably swing by the house and give the cat some dry cat food. See if Captain's feeling any better. And then go to the office and work on some stuff. If y'all watched my stories on Instagram, I just heard apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the flow. Next thing you know, shorty got low, low, low. Yeah, I love that song. Hey, y'all. I'm headed home. Well, actually, I'm not headed home. I'm headed out of the office. I'm going to put my stuff in the back of the trunk and gonna go stop by the the um, what is it called storage unit but I don't know that I I don't know if I remember the code to get in anyway if I do I do if I don't I don't I'll just go to the other store and I'm not sure what I'm making for dinner because our every plate stuff doesn't come until tomorrow so we'll see I'll think of something <gasps> I'm getting a call I'm at the storage unit. It's been a hot minute since I've been here, but we need to empty it out. And I wanna empty it out before next month. So that way, I'm not paying that anymore. I'm trying to minimize all of my bills and pay off our debt and get back down to being debt free again. I mean, aside from the house, like the house will take us a little while to pay that off, but we used to not have any debt that we carried over month to month. No car payment, no um, anything. So, I want to get back to the spot where we don't have that. And one of the things that I'm gonna do 
does not get my hair done so often. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out, but see, how grays. I only get it done one color. I love my hairstylist. I think she's awesome. And I love talking with her and chatting with her, and I love the friendship, but just the expense and yeah, the expense mostly. Um, and I know, I know those of you that do hair are probably going, don't, don't do it. But yeah, I need to, because it, it's expensive to the lady I go to. It's like a hundred dollars a month for my hair and it's one color. And yes, I could probably go somewhere cheaper, but I do like my gal and yeah, so that's one of the changes I'm going to make. And uh, what was the other change? Kind of just stopped doing my nails too. Really don't need to get my nails done, do I? Guess not, but we'll see about that. Maybe not a pedicure every time either. That'll save me some money. So I'm going to get a few boxes out. As you can see, we are down to like these boxes right here still need to go. Those are Those are boxes. A lot of the stuff over in that far corner is uh, Christmas or seasonal stuff. So I'm going to try to take out several of these boxes right here. One of those, that one right there is NYX. It's got NYX stuff in it. Uh, I think it's probably like Coca-Cola stuff. So I'm going to take out several of these, probably three, and um, get those taken to the house and get those put up. I have loaded up. Probably more than them will actually fit into my car. But I didn't bring the truck. I brought my car. Because Marvin has his truck and he's mowing the grass. So I also took out of storage. Making sure I'm not hitting anything. I also took out of storage my white pants. I have some like linen pants. I have some pink ones and some green ones. And I already took those out of storage and washed them. And they're hanging up, getting ready for me to wear them. I haven't taken out the white ones and I don't always follow that whole Memorial Day after Memorial Day you can wear a white thing but I did today I did this year so who knows anyway I'm gonna go load this up in the car put the cart back then go home and see what I can scrounge up for supper I figured since I'm in the area I'll check my P.O. box as it turns out I only had bills because I haven't changed the address on everything yet so I'm going to work on that tonight because there wasn't like, oh my gosh, a surprise. <laughs> no, nope, no surprise for me. Hey y'all, it is after midnight, so it's tomorrow, but we're going to pretend like it's yesterday so I can close this vlog out. So not much happened since I got home. I did bring those boxes back from the um, storage unit and didn't put a single one away because I don't know why. I just, well, because I know why. So I looked in some of the boxes and they actually are um, like decor stuff and things that I need to put my office together first so I have a place to put them away. So I'll work on that soon. I don't know when, not tonight. But I told my daughter Kat, who just released a new video tonight, so if you're on my Instagram, check out the link in my bio, but by the time you see this, it'll be a different link. Anyway, so I told Kat, I'm like, hey, um, you know, we were just talking about um, Instagram and stuff, she's like, when are you gonna post the new post? And I'm like, I'm gonna work on that tonight. And it's 12.05 now, and so that's not gonna happen tonight. It'll have to happen tomorrow, but I don't know when it'll happen tomorrow because Maybe I need to make at least one post for tonight or tomorrow morning because I'm getting my hair done at three and I've got um, to come to the house between 12 and three tomorrow to um, uh, for the fireplace. So that's how I feel. Um, I need to prep at least one or two posts for me to do tomorrow and the next day. So I have like something to post because I haven't posted since May 2nd and that's ridiculous because that was... 27 days ago not 20 well 26 days anyway whatever who cares who cares it's basically the influencer that no one knows and no one's talking about that's me <laughs> anyway i hope you guys are having a great day um I'm coming off of an awesome weekend i really really had a good time with marvin yesterday 
just had a lot of fun. We did all the things and we shopped and we ate and we had some drinks and just, it was a fun day, super fun day. But every day that I get to spend with Marvin is a fun day. So cheesy, but true. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night and don't forget, be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.